guys. I started this video a little bit earlier, I'm trying to change the pace and hopefully I can be a little bit private. Drink some lemon tea here, which is really just lemons <laughs> and water. Um, I wanted to talk about something that I was reminded about, really, and actually a negative situation. I was sitting here and I watched the video, I commented on the video. Uh, then I got a comment, then I tried to respond, and my response was deleted, and let's just say I was insulted, but I don't care about any of that. What matters is what I learned from the guy's response, or I should say what I was reminded of from the guy's response. The guy uh, spoke of circumcision, right? And I was going to get into it, and I got into it, let me tell you. But uh, let me be clear about something. So when I was a kid... Um, I took very good care of myself. I sat there and I took a shower, you know, I cleaned everything, every part, especially the part in that area. Well, sometime when I was uh, five, I think, four or five years old, something like that, may have been six years old, I'm not sure. I don't remember. All I remember is the pain, okay? The pain. <laughs> so, with that said, uh, I was starting to get these, like, yellow yellowish blobs and I say blobs they look like seeds like seeds out of a uh, out of a fruit a small small fruit but it was like uh, like calcium seeds or something like that like something you would see the yellow stuff that comes out of your tonsils sometimes well I actually saw that down there and then I had a covering I didn't understand why I always kept it clean anyways I finally got uh, surgery and got circumcised in the process of that and it was painful, let me tell you. It was a painful process. Uh, <laughs> my dad was kind of feeling real bad uh, <laughs> for the pain that I was feeling. I don't know why, because he inflicted a lot of pain on me, but <laughs> for whatever reason, he felt bad. Anyways, um, I got older, and at some point, uh, when I started reading the Bible and reading the scriptures and talking to God and Jesus Christ, God and Jesus Christ reminded me of something that I did not understand. Okay. Now, remember I told y'all when I was like three years old, I made, in a way, I made a vow to God. I had always been His. I may have made it earlier than that, but I'm pretty sure it was three years old when I recognized He was watching. And um, He reminded me, you know, you know how the story goes where everyone who makes a covenant with God has to get a circumcision and so on and so forth? Well, in my conversations, my alone conversations with God and Jesus Christ, through my reading, through my meditation in His Word and all of that, He reminded me of that moment. He was like, see, I told you I was always with you. I made sure that your covenant was solid with me. And I was thinking to myself, like, wow, God, you really were with me the entire time. Because even though he caused all that and it seemed like an infection and all of that at the end of the day I got circumcised like any single one of Israel's people I was a kid then I, I, I thought that was a normal thing but come, come to turn out it's not a normal thing and it's actually biblical and once I realized all that I was like wow God wow Jesus Christ I was just amazed the point of this video is this you know God and Jesus Christ will reveal to you things, things that you didn't even know He was doing to preserve you in Him. That's really the point of this video. God bless you guys. In Jesus Christ's name, take care of you.